You expect me to say something? Well, <laughs> wow. Thank you, thank you. It's such an honor to be here and to be on stage at the Lensic to receive the Lensic Lifetime Achievement Award. Whoa! Barbara, do you hear that? Yeah. And I have so many people to thank. My wife, my kids, Jared Kushner. Uh, this will be fabulous. And I did write, I do, I, I wrote my acceptance speech. I, I, I write everything in ancient Greek. Just, uh, but uh, that'll take a few minutes, so. And I do want to welcome the friends of the Lensic and the friends of the friends of the Lensic. I happen to know there are dozens of people wanting to get into the theater right now, but they're not friends of the Lensic. They're acquaintances. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. At any rate, before I get my award, I thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about Frank Lesser. Frank Lesser, of course, wrote the words of music to the movie you're going to see, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Now, Frank Lesser was a very complicated and interesting guy. Let's, let's learn a few things about him. And here's where I do the reading, okay? So don't leave. Frank Lesser grew up in New York. His father was a teacher of classical piano, but Frank's interest was in pop music. He sang and played piano in nightclubs and began writing lyrics. In 1936, he caught a break and got five songs in a new Broadway show. The exposure was good enough to land him a contract at Paramount Pictures, where he wrote his first film song, The Moon of Manicura, for the Dorothy Lamour film, The Hurricane. He went on to write lyrics for songs in over 60 films, working with great composers, including Julie Stein, Jimmy McHugh, Hoagie Carmichael. During World War II, Lesser was assigned to special services. In 1942, he wrote the wartime hit, Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition. <laughs> After the war, he started working again in Hollywood. Lesser may have been the only person to arrive in Hollywood as a lyric writer and wind up as a composer. Now, some of the songs he wrote are just fabulous. I Don't Want to Walk Without You, Jingle, Jangle, Jingle, The Ladies in Love With You, On a Slow Boat to China, Spring Will Be a Little Late This Year, They're Either Too Young or Too Old, Two Sleepy People, What Are You Doing New Year's Eve, Heart and Soul, he wrote Heart and Soul. Can you believe that? I mean. He didn't write chopsticks. I did that. <laughs> but, uh, and, and the great baby, it's cold outside. Now, I'd like you to get a sense of what Frank Lesser was really like in person. So we spared no expense, and we got a, an interview. We did very few interviews with Faye Emerson. Now, some of you may remember Faye Emerson. I, I was much too young, but... Uh, <laughs> She was one of the first persons on TV to do interviews, and she was interesting. Now, in this particular <laughs> clip, she's wearing sunglasses because she had pink eye or something. And Frank had just written and opened Guys and Dolls. So with that, let's look at this clip of Frank Lesser. Thank you. Yeah, one of the best music men there is in the world today, I suppose. I'd like you to meet him now, Mr. Frank Lester. Hello, Frank. Good evening. How are you? Fine, Good fine. You. What are you, the mystery guest? <laughs> <laughs> Frank said to me before the show, he said I looked like his automobile, his car. A little, yeah. <laughs> the one out west. <laughs> Frank, of course, is uh, the man who wrote the fabulous music for Guys and Dolls, which is about the best musical, I think, in the world. I just really do say that. Once more for the West Coast, loud. <laughs> best musical in the world. Right. And uh, you better send in for your tickets now, because I think maybe you'll get them by September at that rate. It's, Try hard. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's real Broadway, isn't it? Well, we feel it's real good. I'm, I'm still uh, befuddled by it because it is a big success, mm -hmm. but I'm, uh, I guess I'm starting to 
Take it easy now. Well, sorry. Frank, you ought to be used to successes. I am, but not this kind. Uh -huh. Charlie's aunt was such a... Well, uh, I was a little one compared to this, although I like that, too. Well, how long did it run like? Oh, well, Charlie's aunt was... What am I saying? Is, where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Charlie? Well, oh, <laughs> yes, but I mean uh, the musical version. Uh, about two years on Broadway, uh -huh. and uh, we're now out west, just finishing. You belong at a piano when you talk about music. Come on, let's go to the piano. I'm more comfortable that way. <laughs> well, you ought to be. After all, this is home to you, isn't it, a piano? Used to be. I haven't done anything with one in a long time. I moved one the other day. <laughs> uh, really, I haven't. Oh, yes. I don't sing and I don't play. I come here. Mm. I have a slight handicap, no talent. Yes, I know. Mr. No talent. Uh, there's a song I want to play you. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. 